Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's video is not going to be our usual photo walk. We're currently on level 4 lockdown here in Auckland, New Zealand. So I thought I'd make a video about this. This video will show how I clean my car. Also before and after machine polishing it. This video will also show some cinematics for my Fujifilm XS10 and the XF 23mm f2 lens. Since this is going to be different from my previous videos, I mean, if you like the video by clicking the like and subscribe button down below. Also, commenting your suggestions down there. Without further ado, let's go. I actually started by spraying the wheels with wheel cleaner and brushed it with the same car wash on a different bucket. This is important because we don't want to mix the car paint and wheel wash bucket. Then I wash the car with aggressive car soap. I use the Turtle Wax Max Wash with full strength to completely remove the dirt and grime on the paint. I dried it carefully, making sure I didn't miss a spot. I didn't clay it since I've done it recently. I would suggest to clay it if you haven't done it before. There's a lot of scratches on the door jams, so I started polishing them first. Then I start machine polishing the trunk area. It's good to split the panel and work on them one at a time. This process takes a really long time. And you'll get better result if you take your time. Here I switched to hand polishing so I could get a break from the machine polisher. It's important to protect the exterior roof of your car because it's the most exposed to the sun. I finished it with a coat of turtle wax ceramic coating and I plan to layer another coat after 24 hours. Alright everyone, it's been 24 hours and it's time for that second coating. I know it says 1 or 2 sprays per panel, but I say 2 or 3 sprays per panel. You just gotta make sure your pad is not too saturated with the coating. I like using the microfiber pad because it makes it easier to spread the product evenly. Here I made a mistake on leaving the tag on the microfiber pad. You should remove this to avoid scratching the surface of the paint. It's probably one of those times when I say do as I say, not as I do. But we're all here to learn. When you're spreading the product, you don't need any pressure. You just have to focus on spreading the product evenly and making sure not to miss any spot. Spreading it out with cross hatch pattern will also help. Oh by the way, I'll also put the product information in the description down below. I 
Okay, 24 hours after the last coat of ceramic coating, I top coated the car with the glaze. For this, I'm using the Chemical Guys Easy Cream Glaze. I feel like you need more pressure to spread out the product because it's thicker than the Turtle Wax Spray Coating. Same as the spray coating, you just want to make sure it's spread out and you don't miss a spot. This is how much I usually put for a panel. After coating the whole car, I left it for 10 to 12 minutes to cure, and then I wiped it off. This would be the result of washing, polishing, ceramic spray coating, and a coat of glaze.